Hi, I'm Merrick DeMatto. Welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. We're in a car with Kenny. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Got a gray beard now. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? Okay. You don't have to make the switch all at once. I don't know why we didn't pick an automatic. Because every car out there ain't an automatic. You need to be able to drive whatever you find keys for. Good point. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. Yay, it's a little baby. AJ. AJ Jr. I just can't get him well, to talk. AJ. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. <laughs> the sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. We ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Oh, thank you. By the time you. we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. I am a better driver than you. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I, I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. I miss him too. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket? The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but something. AJ's a survivor. He knows making too much noise will only get him killed. But he's a kid. Kids shouldn't have to worry about that sort of thing. It's a world we live in now, though, Kenny. Crap! I got it. Turn the wheel. Don't. Oh fuck! Oh dear. Kenny? Kenny! Kenny! No! No! You're alive! Thank God! Is it AJ okay? Shit. Help me up. Come on. Does this net need a QTE? Sorry, sorry. Oh, no, not Kenny. I don't, I don't feel anything. No, 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 no. That's bad. Clem, I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. I can get you into the car. I don't... Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! You gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No, Clementine, no! There's no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! Hey, Jim. Come on! Oh. <clears throat> well, that's, um... Wow, that's a downer. 
Kenny's gone. Fuck. It's okay. We thought he was gone season one. He came back. He'll he'll be fine. He'll be hey, fine. Clem. He'll always be fine. We almost there. Okay. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Well, thanks, Trip. Why she went to bat for you? I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you, and you don't know her, for that matter. You know, there's not much mystery to a Trip. She's a good human being. Yeah, Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. I just don't want to antagonize anybody. That's not smart to do in the zombie apocalypse. Guys, that's the place. Oh shit. What a mess. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Oh, fuck the herd. In a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Take our spiky thing. Kill the muerto. Because I know that. Because Mariana's I'm... tape player. Dude, your guns. Mariana? You're not holding your gun right, Trip. Mariana, That's uh, you it's a little un... kind of awkward to see. Javi, <laughs> Mariana, you're alive. You're safe. I can't believe it. You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. Did they hurt you? Are you okay? I hid before they could get to me. I'm fine. Really. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh yeah, this is Clementine and Trip. No. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Oh shit. They're trapped in there. Ariana, stay back. <laughs> you want a little? It's much easier using the arrow keys instead of the mouse. Good job, Trip, with the hitting them with the stock. Javi, you found us. Yep. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? Eh, may as well. Gross. Yeah. Come on. I think we get a pass. <sighs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Oh, please don't be a bite. Please don't be a bite. At least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? 
she have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. <laughs> Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Everything seems like it worked out. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even like lukewarm water would be okay. Eh, don't get your hopes up too high. It's a nice place, but it's not the Ritz. Well, whatever they've got, I'm sure it's going to be great. Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. I wasn't expecting this. Believe me. To have my family back together again, it's... I get it. I do. Sorry, Clem. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Oh, her headphones. Thanks. Sorry. Fuck. No. So. Things are going too well. Javi, we can't leave her. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. Kate. <coughs> Stop. Uh. Stop. Good, good, good boy. Javi, help. Kate needs a doctor. Which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. Kate, are you okay? I'm fine. Really? She's not. And the longer it takes us to get out of here, the worse off she's gonna be. Okay, let's go. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here right now! I already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Clemmer's is a good point. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No! Uh, Javi, you have to come with us! Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi! Please come with us! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. I'm sorry, game. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Javi, don't! And I think we just flashbanged herself. Episode 1, Ties That Bind, Part 1. And uh, that's Episode 1 of The Walking Dead game. We're going to see this to the end. I'm not going to do all the credits now, but you and 54.6% of players chose to stay, in, st spend the night, stay the night in the junkyard. 
You and 52.2% of players chose to let the driver go. You and 94.3% of players got locked up. You and 49.7% of players went with trip to the junkyard, so we're in the minority for that one. You and 82, 84.2% of players stayed with Clementine. Well, let's go right to episode two. Well, not now. I don't. Maybe eventually. Maybe, but not right now. <laughs> One day I might do Walking Dead Michonne. But from what I've seen, it doesn't look fun. It looks like a Wii. Like a Wii. A, a hardware demo for the Wii. That's what it seems like to me. Episode 2, Titus at Bind, Part 2. In the wake of escalating trouble, Javier leads a group of refugees to the safety of a nearby town. Let's get ri jump right in. Yeah, yeah we know stories are ta tailored by how you play. Let's get a nice uh, previously on segment first. Well, this isn't a previous on segment. It's I've never Please, before seen stuff. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. I'm a pro at this point. I happen to be an expert relaxer. If only you weren't a degenerate gambler, too. Meh. Ouch. Damn, too soon. Nah, I know you don't mind, but I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, gotta get back on my feet a little. You're right. I don't mind. But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to... He's always talking about how I'm never around, and then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated. But look, he loves you. You're his brother. He's got an odd way of showing it. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Oh, well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Zombies. You wanna take me with you? Well? Uh, sure. Just finish up with those dishes and I'll bring the car around. <laughs> but I pick the music. <laughs> yeah, never mind then. You know I'm just messing around, but it's hard to say no to a fresh start. Mm. I always wanted to go to Norway, see the northern lights. But you'll be jet setting and I'll still just be here. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, shit, Quick, shit, run underwater. Shit, shit. That was David's army glass. Oh, he's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. Just blame me. What he'll buy it. I'm the idiot fuck up, right? <laughs> That's true. Exactly. There you go. See? Much better. What was that noise? Guys, you're you're gonna be okay. Hello, my CEO gave me that, and unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not gonna give me another well, one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me. If we could even afford a dishwasher. It was an accident. It was important to Are me. Are you really going to do this in front of your brother? Is that what this is about? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. You know what, David? Time for you to open your eyes. Kate's going to leave your ass. What? She told Hardy. me so. Oh, you said fuck. That? Jesus fucking Christ, no. We were talking about traveling and I just... I didn't know I would say no, that. I definitely didn't say that. At all. God damn it! Three days. Then I want you off my couch and out the door. 
We clear? Fine. Javi, that is my husband. We are married. In case you forgot. That's for life. I didn't know it would say that! <sighs> Damn it. Oh, shit. It's a walker. Thank you, Clem. Hey, hey. Take it easy. What happened? You flashbang yourself, away. you dumbass. Oh, God. Mariana. We should take her back with us. I already dug a grave for her. Thanks. Thank you. This is a sad game. This was my fault, Mariana. God, God damn it. I'm so sorry, honey. Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. I couldn't leave you alone. That's because you're a good man. I'm not good enough to save her. You bought your people time, though. That counts for something. Hang on a sec. She carried this around for years. I love how all the shovels you see in the Walking Dead game don't have the D the D grips. You know, like, you know the handle on the, uh, on the bottom of the shaft? Like snow shovels and stuff? And I'm sorry time. I never found you those candy bars. Do we have to do every step of deserve grave filling? So much more life. Mm. You should have been the one burying me. Except someday. Someday far away. You did everything you possibly. God damn, more walkers. I'm worried about AJ, personally. You. You fucker. The other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem? I've run into these guys before. Who are they? 
please. They call themselves the New Frontier. Ah, that's the name of the season. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. This brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while. Not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. What do you mean, stuck? Were you a prisoner? I got out. That's all that matters. Oh dear, I think I know what you what happened. They left one of their cars behind. That's something at least. Good. Just like you always wanted. No, don't do be a dick, Javier. I can take you back to Prescott, make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. Yeah, make up. Our, we'll make up our mind then. Good plan. And off we go. You're back. How's Kate? Uh, she... Just came out of surgery. Eleanor's still with her. You'd best get over to the infirmary. You made it back. Of course. You sound surprised. She asked for you. <clears throat> you know. Please, please just tell me how she's doing. Well, she came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. <sighs> Your boy Gabe. He seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much he... got overwhelmed. So when's she going to be up on her feet again? She's stable. For now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. Oh. I... I wish I could do more. Thanks for trying. And for not sugarcoating it. Wish I had something better to tell you. But, I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. Understandable. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. Let's talk, let's look at Tripp's van. It's a nice van. I know Tripp drove like hell to get Kate back here. Let's talk to Trip. I like Trip. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected, and yeah, considering. You should have come back with us. Your family, they needed you. Clementine needed my help back there. She could take care of herself. Your family, they were the ones who needed help. It's a hell of a situation. Just know I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott. Thank you. If that's what you want. Nobody's gonna force you, but... Not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. I like Trip.
I'm not gonna steal the water bottle, it's not our water bottle. Look at the plane. Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. Lifetime ago. Examine the wall. Hmm. Doesn't look super sturdy. Look at the water bottle. Well, I'll just take for example, so I guess. You're trying to find Gabe. Well, let's talk to this fella. Conrad. Hey, man. Hey, have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Headed off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice. One parent to another. He's had a really bad day. Can't let him go off by himself. Not right now. Sorry to hear that. That blood. I take it that wasn't his? His stepmom's. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen one in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. You got it. I uh, appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. Well, let's go after him then. Uh, next uh, save thing, we're probably gonna call it a video. Gabe? Gabe, come on. Look at me. I want to go back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was... peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. You stayed long enough to do some good. And because of that, I'm proud of you. You were there for her as much as you could be. That doesn't count. Yeah, it does, kid. I'm done feeling this way. Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man, just like my dad was. He knew how men were supposed to act. You're already a man, Gabe. I'm not. But at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. We need to get inside right Shit. fucking now. Get inside, now! Come on, Gabe. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens next time. Till then, I've been Merrick Tomato. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!